Hello. So today we're going to look at graphing functions. So let's have a look at what we're being asked. So our question is, for the following functions, identify the parent function, list the transformations, and sketch the function. All right, so let's, let's just underline what we're asked to do. We're asked to find the parent function, list the transformations, and then sketch. All right, so let's look at the first one. y equals negative 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 3. So our parent function, part a, is 2 to the x. And y are variable, are independent variables in the exponent. And the base is 2. So it looks like our parent function is going to be y equals 2 to the power x. So whatever that constant base is raised to our variable in this case. Now b list of transformations. What are our transformations? We have a negative here. We have this plus one and a plus three. Well, the negative is a reflection in the x-axis. We've seen that before. The plus three, let's do that one. That's a vertical translation. up three units and finally this plus one it's actually we can write that as x minus a negative one so it's actually negative one so this is a horizontal translation to the left one unit and horizontal translation translation left one unit. Good. So we have our parent function or our transformations. And now part C is the sketch. Now, do we have room? I think we have room there. So this is how I like to do it. I like to draw some axes. Let's, uh, do we have room? Let, let's give it a try. Might have to be a small. small little graph, but I think we can do it. Okay, so what I like to do is draw a draw the parent function in first. So why don't we do that? Let's, let's use blue for our parent function. So we know what our parent function looks like. Let's zoom out. We have more space. All right, or zoom in rather. A parent function looks a little like this. It intersects the y-axis at one. So this is our parent function, y equals two to the power x. Next, I like to do some the transformations one by one and draw each step. So the first transformation that might be nice to do is the horizontal translation to the left one unit. So let's pick, let's use another color. Let's pick a point on our parent function. Let's pick this one and we're at this point here and move it over one unit. So now that point, the coordinates of that point are negative one, one. That means our entire blue curve has shifted one unit. So it looks something like that. So this green curve is y equals two to the x plus one. All right, good. So next thing that would be nice to do is hmm, a reflection. Let's do the reflection in the x-axis. All right, so now let's pick another color about this one. That means I'm gonna take the same point, I'm gonna reflect it in the x-axis, so I'm gonna end up down here. And we, um, yeah, something like this. We're going to end up with a curve that looks something like this. So this curve is y equals negative 2 to the x plus 1. Finally, we have a vertical translation up three units. So we're going to take this point and we're going to move it up three units. One, two, three. So we end up at two. All right, two. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. 
Ooh. All right. Okay, so what else changes? So in our original parent function, we have a, vert, a horizontal asymptote along the x-axis or this x-axis is the same as the line y equals zero. So this line is going to be translated up three units. So let's do that. So we'll take this line, move it up three units. It's gonna end up here. And let's draw in the new horizontal asymptote. Okay, let's just turn it into a nice broken line. Okay. Let's pick another, uh, one last color for our last curve. Good, and we're taking this, this brown curve, we're moving it up three units. So we're gonna take this one point here, this point negative one, negative one, move it up three units. We're gonna end up here at negative one, two. And let's draw in our curve, whoops. It's something like that where it intersects the y-axis, I don't know exactly. And this purple curve is our final transformation, negative two to the power x plus one, all plus three. So we have a new horizontal axis, y equals three. Let's put that in there, y equals three. And we performed all our transformations. We did them step by step. Then we arrived at this final purple curve. All right. Okay, so let's look at the next one. We're going to practice this, this process again. So our second curve is y equals 2 over x minus 1 plus 3. So again, let's start with the parent function. Now let's put it here. What is our parent function? Well, where is our variable, our independent variable? It's in the denominator. What parent functions do we know that have our independent variable in the denominator? It's the inverse function, so one over x. All right. B, what are the transformations? So we have a two here, a one here, and a three. And all of these are being applied to our parent function, y equals one over x. So the two is a vertical stretch. by a factor of two, by a factor of two. The one is a horizontal translation um, right one unit. And finally, the three is a vertical translation up three units. Okay, good. So we have our parent function, all our transformations, and now we need to graph. All right, so again, why don't we Make this a little smaller so we can get it all in. Let's see our graph. Let's draw some axes in here. Uh, we'll, let's use our straight line feature. I'm trying to think how much space we'll need. We might need a bit more. All right. Okay. Sometimes you need to anticipate what your final graph is going to look like and how much space you might need. All right, so there's our axes. So again, I like to start by drawing out the parent function. So why don't we do that? And let's use, I, I don't know, let's use yellow. So our parent function looks something like this, right? Yellow is one over X, okay? So now let's perform the various transformations. So let's do the translations first. I think that will be interesting because the translations are going to change where our asymptotes are. So we have two asymptotes, 
right? We have the y-axis and the x-axis of the asymptote. So the x-axis, that asymptote, the equation is y equals zero. The y-axis asymptote is x equals zero. So any uh, vertical translations are going to change the horizontal asymptote. Any vert any um, horizontal, sorry, any vertical translations will change the horizontal asymptote. Any horizontal translations will change the vertical asymptote. So let's check for those. So we have a, a vertical translation up three units and a horizontal translation right one unit. So that is, use another color. That's going to change where our asymptotes are. So the translation up three units is going to take our horizontal asymptote and move it up here to y equals three. So why don't we put that in? That might be good. Uh, let's do that approximately there. Okay. Let's use, let's, let's create a nice broken line. All right. And then our horizontal translation one unit to the, which direction are we going? To the right is going to change our vertical asymptote and it's gonna move it over, oops, one unit. So I don't know where that would be. Um, we'll just guesstimate for now, be the best thing. Again, this is just a sketch. It's not a precise graph and that's that one. So those are our new horizontal and vertical asymptotes. We also have this stretch of a factor of two. So when you're stretching a curve like this, it's just gonna get steeper and flatter. So it's sometimes a bit difficult to see the stretch. So our new curve is gonna look the same, except a little bit more steeper and flatter. So very similar to our original yellow curves, our blue curve now. This is our transformed curve. So y equals two over x minus one plus three. So in this case, in this, in this example, the main things to look for are the asymptotes and where they change where they end up and how they change. Good. So if you have any questions, feel free to send us a note at info at raisemymarks.com or give us a call day or evening and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.